Vijay sir, see, comes and goes, <laughs> is very philosophical. And he's very, very wise. <laughs> that is one great moment <laughs> dance is there, which Katrina never did in her life. And then, uh, yeah. even when she, maybe when she was alone at her home, she never tried that kind of dance. That's only happened with me only, actually. It was, it was very difficult. Tell me what adjectives you would like to be used to describe you. It was hard working, one of them. Vithik told me once, you have, you, have, you have worker's hands. I said, okay, I have worker's hands and I'm hard working. I don't think Shiram sir would have really enjoyed been on set during that towel fight sequence in Tiger. So. <laughs> it was always made for a haul and even if they gave me, give me some deadly offer, I would still say, okay, play the haul, then bad me. And he had some deadly offers, I can tell you. <laughs> it's like, okay, uh, the, call this guy from uh, Tamil, this Jay Sethupati. So, he'll do this for, So, somebody from Telugu, somebody from uh, Marathi, somebody from Bengali. Our guests today need no introduction. They have left a mark in the audience with their performances and are today the biggest names of Indian cinema. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Katrina Kaif, Vijay Setupati, and captain of the ship, Shiram Raghavan. So firstly, welcome to the Pink Villa Masterclass. It's so good to have you all here. Thank you. It's so good to be here. And good morning, everyone. Sorry, I don't know what time of the day it is. <laughs> I was like, morning, hey? afternoon, evening? Afternoon. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, sorry, yes, you're right. <laughs> afternoon. Uh, Shriram, so my first question is to you. So how did you think of casting Katrina Kaif and Vijay Setupati in this film? This casting has been the talk of the town ever since the announcement. So... What happened is, I had met Katrina just casually after Andaz and then we were discussing doing something, you know. And I had this story and uh, as I began, I said, okay, this is really, she'll be fab in this and let me, who's the guy? And then I went through the usual sort of, you know, our whole lot and uh, I was trying to compare. I said, okay, either they have done something. Then I wanted a very unique kind of a, a pairing because that's the story re requirement, you know. One should not sort of get any baggage from either of them, ki, what are these people about and so on. So I had met another actor who had liked the role also, but I said, then I told him, sorry, I want to, because you have worked with her before. I want so to on. know who this actor is. Even I want to know. Vijay, sir, can we, um, can we uh, ask him today yeah, who yeah, this you actor is? You can ask is? me, I can tell you. This is Saif Ali Khan. Oh. So, and uh, so I had met him and uh, he was actually a little upset later when I told him no. But at that time I had not cast Vijay. I was just yeah. saying, no, I want something fresh. I don't know what I'm looking for. In the, so then... I was going to Melbourne for a film festival and on the way I saw this movie 96. Before that I had seen Vikram Veda, I had seen a couple of other films of Vijay, Super Deluxe I had seen and Super Deluxe also was there and he was getting an award there. So he also came to Melbourne and we just met there and I asked him like do you speak Hindi? He said, I have been working Dubai kaam kar chuka hu. I said, okay, great. So then I thought this is a very interesting and oddball combination, it will make people curious. And I myself was curious, ki, okay, how will, because I couldn't, I mean, with any regular pairing, I could sort of imagine a certain movie, you know. Yeah. Here, I didn't know myself. So, that excitement was there. Before yeah. you, we continue this chat, so in the in the car on the way here, I was talking to Vicky and he was like, um, I said, Vijay sir. And he said, Vijay sir, bolate. And I kabi kabi. Kabi Sometimes and then sometimes I don't. So, I just wanted to clear, should I be calling you Vijay sir or Vijay? I think I have to clear this out. <laughs> So, th so then we went on Google, okay, and we, we checked we checked what his age was. <laughs> Forty four. <laughs> decide, you know, umar ke hisab se. And then I said, I don't know, I'm confused. Mera paap ne mere ko naam rakha hai. We just we just need to know do we add sir to the end of the name? Nein, or? Nein, nein, kisi ko vijay day vijay hai vijay kuch bhi chalega to so. <laughs> Naam so what do you think? Uh, nee, he is, we generally actors, we, we actors generally we call like, sometimes we call sir. I, I also, last night he messaged me. Don't he mistake, told, he told yeah, me yeah, don't mistake him that he messaged me in the night. But, <laughs> yeah. but last night, so he, generally we call sir or brother. That is, that is a mutual respect. and You can call me Vijay. Hi Vijay. Hey Vijay. Kuch bhi chalega. Okay. There will be some inconsistency, oh, just don't mind. Yeah. Sometimes it will be Vijay, sometimes it will be Vijay, Vijay sir. sir. Hmm. 
Katrina, you know, uh, when we last met, you said Shriram Raghavan sir was always on your bucket list. What was the reaction like when he called you and said he wants to make this film called Merry Christmas with you playing the lead role? Um, I don't think he called me. I think like he said we had met. Yeah. And then after that I don't remember how like what who what was the the transaction that happened before like we actually met. All I know is us discussing this at my table and at my dining table and we were chatting and I think um I don't remember how but I I I fell in love with the story. I thought the story was something really unique. But also like uh like Sir said it was something that I felt that I fit into. You know like I wasn't trying to force myself into uh you know a film because oh you know Sri Ram Raghav and it felt like this could be a fit if we get it right. And I thought it was just a really really incredible intriguing story um with there's so many novel things in it and um And then once we started on the journey of the film um I think working with Shriram sir is the toughest um school you can go to because like he said sometimes he doesn't know what he's looking for yeah. so he cannot tell you but he'll tell you when he's found it <laughs> so you have to keep giving the takes keep thinking it's not really about takes it's about you have to keep thinking for yourself that how can this be done because if i show him one way and if i know that he's not he has a, he doesn't have a preconceived idea in his head if i also show him for the things that could also be better and he might like it so you have to really be um you have to be fully present you have to be fully present every cell in your body has to be thinking only about what's going on in the film the and character the and the film yeah. i think that's what even audience do when they watch there they are throughout thinking what's going to happen next so that's a good space to be in even as an actor which is a you come from an industry which has mastered the arts of making thrillers in th- uh, the tamil film industry has made so many thrillers and you have yourself been a part of many of them so thrillers all over everybody is making yeah. not only tamil film generally yeah matlab yeah. tamil and basically the no, fil- it's not yeah. a, no, f- i see see there is no language so filmmakers yeah. and actors yeah. it's an art there is no language no borders yeah. no regions nothing is there yeah. just a filmmakers and films are there Shriram so you believe in the idea of anti casting if you look at all your films it has been a casting which is a, like none could imagine uh, Ayushman doing a film like Andadun Varun doing a film like Badlapur and all through the filmography what's your idea of casting usually what happens is you get the subject and you get the story and then you i start thinking of who's there you know really it happens is okay like for example andadun i thought tabu would be great right from the beginning even though i didn't have the complete story i thought okay this character would be tabu for some reason i wrote it keeping her in mind luckily she agreed and all that but usually you just write the character and uh, then you find the actor and uh, i've been really lucky actually because most of the actors you're mentioning are i probably caught them before they became stars stars so they were still in the mood to experiment and do things like varun when he did badlapur i was really okay i think his dad is going to call me and say what are you doing and he's not going to do this film so on you know because it's a very very bold kind of a choice to take that you know and i don't know what he thought when he was when he said yes to it but he agreed and uh, i had actually thought initially of a much older character you know i mean uh, for the character but then uh, i realized ki when i spoke with my producer dinu and he said ki what about varun and suddenly i said yeah actually a guy can get married at 21 and can have a tragedy at 22 and you know whatever so it doesn't have to be it's not age related the characters and so i've been lucky actually even saif when we worked with him the first time in ekasinathi it was he had done about 40 films before that yeah. but when this character came it reminded me of someone like charles sobraj and i thought okay saif has that you know you know he can charm anyone he's yeah. got is really fun to talk to and all that so i've been lucky they were all they are all good actors basically and you just get the best out of them whenever I, mean, i got them probably a little different roles so yeah. katrina and vijay sir uh, how do you view the idea when when you know industry starts boxing you in a certain zone as an actor how difficult is it to step out of that box as an actor like say no to some roles ke okay i don't want to do this part and come come to me with something else sometimes it's a gut feel there is no formula sometimes it's gut feel i don't know why Uh, some films are good uh, so mostly it's a gut feel only we feel i don't know how to communicate the feelings into words which is very difficult for me sometimes it's a feel just that's all a feel uh, it's not a it's not a proper formula 
ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है सो दैट्स व्हाट कटीना इट्स नॉट अ कैलकुलेटेड फार्मूला या um yeah actually i think that it's a it's a very easy trap to fall into and not just because um maybe somebody or you know media talk about you with certain roles i think for me actually we were discussing this yesterday i feel in the beginning i was far more fearless in my choices as an actor because there just there was no thought behind it you know you just went exactly with that you went with your gut feeling and you just you took everything as a challenge sometimes i feel it subconsciously as an actor you can start trying to chase a hit film and if you're okay do i think this film has a potential to be a hit okay will this film be a hit if you're doing then that that can sometimes cloud your your judgment rather than just going on the sheer love of a character or a film so i think sometimes it's the responsibility also of us as actors not just the media to um to just make sure we're being fearless with our choices and doing what rings true to you as an actor and also understanding what it is at the end of the day we make films for our audience you don't make films for an empty cinema right you were making films for our audience without that support without that love you cannot make movies so also understanding what it is that is resonating with the audience what's resonating with people today in terms of in terms of emotions in terms of stories in terms of uh of philosophy in terms of the mood of the nation the mood of 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 uh, people this is i mean a common question to all three of you uh, do you take the pressure of box office when you are hearing a script or signing not hearing the script actually signing the film well, I, i just gave that answer yeah, yeah. little bit <laughs> yeah so yeah of course no yeah it is not only an art it's people are investing money so much money yeah so they have to get the money back if they don't get the money back then no producer will come to our home then to commit us also so that is most important box office most important people has to come and watch the film we have to entertain them so that's 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 very much important if if nobody's come to watch the film there's a problem there has to be a problem you can you can excuse it to yourself or maybe amongst an intelligent you know intellectual conversation someone can have a reason for it but if yeah. they haven't come to see the film which then makes it not a success at the box office there's a problem so one should think about it in retrospect but if you take that pressure then that's also a wrong a wrong thing it has to be balanced maybe you have to be out there to try and make good cinema if you're trying to make something commercially and trying to do like uh, we just said a formula i think that it the audience can smell that and it's not authentic it's not it's not coming from a pure place If you're there because you are in love with what you're doing and you hit that right story and you hit those right beats I think that honesty resonates it reaches the audience Absolutely we have seen that Shriram sir you as a director do you take those pressures or no I mean since I am since I am starting the movie I mean when I think of a subject you know okay there are enough people who are going to enjoy watching this in the hall I mean that has to be in your mind subconsciously but there are some films I mean many friends of mine make which people will eventually watch at home they're not going to go to the hall to watch you know today's times actually because there are so many films so there are films of that but i sort of i am i am working for the mainstream audience whatever i'm doing it is for the audience in me when i'm sitting in that hall there you know so i sort of it's part of my thinking okay when i'm writing also okay if i'm in the hall am i going to watch this in the hall or is it something i'll watch at home so that uh, one can make out usually we may be wrong but we can make out when we talk of watching it at the hall uh, merry christmas is releasing in the cinema halls and you have held back on the film for so long so that people can experience it in the best possible way on the big screen uh, this is a question for all of you uh, how do you view this uh, idea of ott emerging an alternate medium and what was the conviction to you know hold back this film for so long for the big screen i mean for me it was made for the big screen it was not made for an ott platform you know so i don't know i've never made a film for an ott platform and there are friends of mine who have made and some of them are good films also i mean there are i mean today so many big filmmakers are making films only for ott but this was meant for a hall and uh, i don't know i mean for me as long as people are for a, for a thriller i mean there would be uh, the people who have loved andadon would probably come and check it out and so on so i knew there's going to be an audience for this film now how much they love it how much they that all depends once it's out but it was always made for a hall and even if they i mean give me some deadly offer i will still say okay pehla hall then baad mein and he had some deadly offers i can tell you <laughs> does but that I, make you happy 
it's it's he's the captain of the ship and i think i found it very um i found it very charming and very and very beautiful that his passion is for cinema he's a director that's making films for his audience he was he did not take the bait which a lot of people would have taken of the offers that can come to go straight on ott and i think i so i asked him i said one time sir i said sir well, what about the risk like you know you don't have the tension what ha- what it has to do at the box office and he said but that's the fun that's the game that's the charm that that friday nerves that friday uh, exam that you have to pass and i thought that that's that's a true cinema lover you know that's that's a that's a true patron of the arts <laughs> absolutely vijay sir how do you view this alternate medium sir suppose you see there is only one biryani shop is there so 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 you just eat go and eat biryani only it's available only suppose there is a biryani one curd rice one sambar rice it's like a different platforms are like that yeah. only and then you get a chance to you can make tanas film you can make there are short films also available and earlier times suppose the film is released in theater and if you don't get time to watch you missed it now you can watch it yeah. but i always prefer to watch in theaters okay because that's an that's a great experience that's your dedicated time when the film uh, while you watch the film even it is in your control you can rewind and forward then you won't really enjoy that moment of watching it the film and the story the narration okay but that is right but still now you have a freedom that you can make 10 hours film a uh, 20 hours film and then there are 20 minutes short films or uh, animated films are there so there are options for you and then uh, any which way people get a chance to watch a film even after one year some people they watch some films they release and uh, maybe it was flop yeah. and after uh, one year two year some people watch it and they tell us no the film is so nice it was very nice they say it later also yeah. so there are a lot of good things also there and then sometimes uh, i am very much afraid about the corporate uh, uh, behaviors in art because i don't know f- f- whom to ask for the decisions suppose when with the filmmaker when you are interacting with the producer that's only one producer you can interact with the budget is go high or low that is you can fight with them you can make the film okay but sometimes it is very difficult to uh, whom to ask for suppose if something happen there is some uh, problem is yeah. i i believe and my experience but the good thing is there are a lot of people they wanted to make the film they can go and approach and they can tell the story in for so many hours also that's a good also absolutely uh, this is a common question to all of you being in the industry for so long uh, how has your approach towards success and failure changed i think a lot of actors and directors have said first or second film they used to take success and failure differently but through the years there has been a learning a change in the approach to both i think that the um the joy remains the same that that is unbridled unbiased you know bliss when when you know that your movie has hit hit a connection with the audience and for me i think the pain still remains the same when it doesn't hit that mark um except that it's just like a wound you know like after after a while the scar is not as sensitive so it's like it's a wound that is still sensitive but you're telling yourself that oh it's okay you know rise above it move forward it's okay you know you i think it's it's a bit of uh, convincing yourself to be brave and that it's all right success and failure is a part of life which is true which is very true you cannot there's nobody there's not one person in the industry who's seen un you know um uninterrupted success everyone every single person has seen incredible highs and incredible lows as well who, are, who you know who's who are well known figures and i mean i think that goes across the board for anyone in life right there's ups and there's downs but every time you do realize that okay maybe a film hasn't quite hit it hit it with the audience i still find it very very painful i i really get affected for a while and i do a lot of introspection on the whole process the film what i did what could have been done better i think you're going to hear a very different answer from that yeah, side I- <laughs> no th- that's a very common no that is uh facing a hit and flops very common but we have to ask ourselves whether our work towards the f- uh, hit or flop is it sincere or not audience can find out that if you just yeah i'm a star i can do whatever i want to audience will come and watch if you do a film like that 
then they can easily find out so whenever uh, i stand in front of the camera i'm there with so much of responsibility uh, then in my lifetime i will never ever get the time back to go and recorrect it so that is that time is so much important so whether if your work is so sincere the film is hit of flop audience will have that uh, respect for you as a star uh, that will always there so i i seen so many flops also but still people love me and uh, they come and talk to me and they come and take photographs with me it was it was nice so it is they can understand uh, so rest everything is an experience life uh, first in initial uh, it it hits you very uh, strongly whether it's hit or flop that both hits you very strongly and slowly everything it becomes an experience like it's a journey uh, it's an experience that's all i have to tell you something you probably don't know a lot of people here vijay sir see comes and goes <laughs> is very philosophical and he's very very wise <laughs> if you <laughs> seriously he's not a big conversationalist at least on the film maybe also i came to know later that shriram sir had possibly told people that they shouldn't talk too much to me on set varun dhawan told this to me he was asking me like what's it like working with shriram sir i was like he's amazing his world is amazing but Nobody talks much to me on set. He said oh it was like Bree was questioning myself. He said don't worry don't worry he's told everyone not to talk to you. Now, I don't know if no, that's no, true. No 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 it was huh? not like I, that. I don't think so. I'm afraid of you that's why I didn't talk. <laughs> no no I'm new to this industry and then I don't know and then uh, she is well experienced and she is a big star here. So and then uh, in this film also oh, there's no. much conversation to uh, discuss and work because the film uh, it's about a thriller and then uh, If you ask me about the film, it is about uh, the it is one night story uh, which is happening between Albert and Maria. In that one night, they get introduced each other, and then they get to know each other, and uh, uh, how they fall in love. Uh, the, it's about who you are and who you are, and it is like it's like searching for who you are inside you. Yeah. That's what the film is. So, so uh, there is uh, no much time, and then. Uh, and then with shyam sir uh, in one way he put a lot of pressure on the actors like he gives you freedom yeah. uh, that's a pressure yeah. he trust an actor that's a pressure so yeah. vijay this is the choreograph and then uh, katrina this is the choreograph and then uh, how you can do however you want to do that let me see yeah. suppose uh, suppose if i'm uh, doing it in one way then if i get an another idea so shall i do it like that okay do then uh, i get another so shall i do it this way okay do I said I like three, but you do three also. I will do it in uh, uh, editing. It is it is a very good pressure. Yeah. It's a feel good pressure because uh, he he once the actor uh, is allowed to explore in a scene, no, then he won the scene. That's what I believe. Uh, he take the scene from the director and the writer, and he won the scene. That's the freedom is most important. Uh, that's what when I was working with uh, Shyam sir. Uh, मैंने ऐसे बोलता हूँ मैं फिलासफी नहीं हूँ इतना वॉइस नहीं हूँ कुछ बोलता हूँ कुछ आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू इट्स 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 लाइक नो समबडी सी एस यू विथ इंटेलेक्चुअल और वॉइस नो दट्स अ प्रेशर देन दिस दिस इज नॉट फॉर दैट सो आई डोंट नो हाउ टू फेस इट दैट्स डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी सो आलवेज डोंट ट्रस्ट मी डोंट ट्रस्ट मी नथिंग I, I the freedom is the most important for everybody so if somebody trust you that the time you lose the freedom that's not at all good for anybody <laughs> when did the two of you break the ice of having those conversation on the set oh we've only had about two or three of them like as in th- these f- uh, philosophical ones about maybe, life. not two no, or three no, maybe we had the dance sequence i think so Oh, yeah, that, that. that is one great moment <laughs> dance is there which Katrina never did in her life and then even when she maybe when she was alone at her home or she never tried that kind of dance that's only happened with me only actually it was it was very difficult after the film released you can also try at home it is you can enjoy the dance no, but uh, i think out of all the directors i've ever worked with definitely the the popcorn the, we can eat yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> no it's You're in theater and popcorn is there. I think it's okay. Dude. Huh? Yeah, I mean, it's okay. Can, yeah, yeah. I think it's fine. Okay, later. I'm sorry. 
it's it's a lot of pressure on you as an actor i think like like we just said because um he doesn't come with the ego of the thing that i'm a director and i know everything so he's giving you all that power that show me what you think show me what you can do and uh so you know that it's all in my it's all in my hands like either i show him mediocre he says okay or i show him something great and he's like okay great but that's that all that pressure is is on you so there was one sequence in the film where so i said i want like a dance okay what kind of dancer i don't know a, a, da- a dance like a crazy mad dance <laughs> and you're like okay what is a crazy mad dance and how do you find that and how do you find that how do you piece that together but i think it's it's the best school that you can do every every actor will definitely learn and benefit and grow from doing a shri ram raghavan film absolutely that's why probably everyone gives their best when they are acting in his <laughs> change the topic <laughs> <laughs> shri ram sir uh, i'm very sure a lot of actors would be picking up the call on you and say that please cast me in my film i want to work with you how difficult does it get for you to say ke no i'm making something else maybe sometime else and it's, it's it's not difficult because i mean they understand you know I mean, i'm not like making so so many films you know so i'm trying to now but uh, so i mean after say and then i did get a few calls ki please next time whatever at all but if I, if i get the right role only na so that they also know so it's not much you can do you just you believe in your casting basically there's no see whenever i've tried to think okay this actor and let me write a story keeping this actor in mind i've never come across a story which i after 3 months of work i will junk it myself you know so that somehow that's a different pressure where you're trying to make it for a person you end up making something you've already seen them in something you already like them in so you never get the what what would make it work you know really katrina you know through my journey as a journalist every actor and every director whom i have met have a common thing to say about you you are the most hard working person they have ever met this is a common i think there is no person who has not said this how many girls are in this room put your hand up tell me what adjectives you would like to be used to describe you is hard working one of them beautiful poetic charming like that no like something more something more um romantic hard working <laughs> Baby describe me now how what, what am I like Oh you're hard working <laughs> But yes I mean that's I think you have to be grateful with what you get so hard working it is Yes sir I'm hard working <laughs> Vitik told me once you have you have you have workers hands I said okay I have workers hands and I'm hard working <laughs> I mean I don't mind I'll I'll take it I think that there's a lot to be said for working hard and pursuing your dreams and achieving or um, being able to achieve your dreams just by working really hard you know not everyone's going to be described as you know genius and brilliant and that's okay all right I'm here you're here you're you're still you're still smiling at me so I'll take it <laughs> So my question to you was 20 years in the industry how do you manage to surprise the audience every single year even this year there are so many surprises that we have seen in you as an actor be it doing action or now merry christmas which is again something you have not done before how is it to sur- keep it, uh, surprising your audience i i'm not sure if i'm very honest with myself that i am surprising my audience every year i think i'm i might be consistently being part of good films and that's something which like you said comes from hard work hard work <laughs> <laughs> and um also not not giving yourself too much importance of course respecting yourself and your and and your career but uh giving importance to the fact that i believe that a movie is a director's vision so i can think what i want about myself or be what i want but at the end of the day the movie is going to be good based on the director and the story and that's what i've always tried to do is be a part of good films not just necessarily be you know like see myself as the number one priority but be a part of good films people i believe in and stories i believe in um but she'll you- surprise you in this film that much i can Yeah. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> Vijay sir, what is the biggest challenge of being the Vijay Sethupathi? 
doing nothing <laughs> seriously seriously doing nothing just be there and observe the people around you and what happens listen Lis- listening is the greatest of form that's that clears everything so i don't do anything seriously i don't do anything promise on you i don't do anything uh, i just came to cinema i wanted to be a serial artist and i became a, a hero in the film and everything it happened maybe i don't take life that serious i am just the flow i uh, asked yes, but sutna when you have a target when you have want to achieve something it's it's like already chalna bahut mushkil hai to upar zyada wazan rakho to aur bhi mushkil ho jayega to just you go and uh, it's nice i uh, make cross uh, deserts mountains see everything is there it's an experience uh, see i told you why is philosophical <laughs> see you 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 go on to self help no nowadays a lot of that's very popular you get 10 books teaching you about the flow that under say instinctively uh katrina and vijay sir uh, has any director ever surprised you with regards to how they thought about your character on the big screen the presentation of your character maybe you didn't imagine yourself in a certain part and the director came to you you did it and you're like wow even i didn't know ke i could do this actually mujhe samajh mein nahi aaya someone came to you with a part you never thought you could do you were also surprised ke director came to you with that part and when you did it you were like oh wow i didn't know i could even do this sir for an actor every shot is like that there is no great uh, uh, great performance every shot like if you ask if you put on the camera here if you ask vijay sethupati or albert is my name in the film so when i talk you look at me sir so it kills the energy so if, if siam sir is vijay you walk in what mode what's the purpose why i'm walking am i going to meet somebody uh, or am i running is there a problem or is it a lazy am i hungry or am i going to bathroom yeah kya there are so many this is there for every shot there is a purpose because the audience is waiting there and why you are showing me this why you are saying this word why is this music why is this happening inside why is this happening outside so they have they are watching every shot with so much of questions so it is it is there is not nothing is a great performance just walking itself is very difficult for me so i have to tell them okay i have to tell them i'm going to meet my friend i'm very happy my girlfriend is coming my kids are coming my wife is there if i don't go home go home now she will kill me my my master is there my producer is there i'm going for an interview i came late actually little late so so are yaar kya karu katne aa gaya kya katna abhi aaya acha hua she is always there to protect me so so it, the, for everything there is a reason is there so by saying something great performance i so if you understand everything that's good that's all everything is in your hand if you under, the great thing is for an actor you should understand the director's purpose the writer's purpose why he is doing this then it's yours the greatest impression if you think for an actor is to understand the purpose of the uh, purpose of the shot or the scene what my filmmaker is thinking that's more than enough i'm sorry sir thoda zyada ho gaya sir nahi nahi you are bang on and he has got this you know he was like what he was saying like there are many he is in the house and uh, so he will work out okay should i do this as why i doing this because i'm thinking of this so sometimes it's a wonderful idea and i wonder i think how come i never thought of it for 6 months when i'm writing the script when it just comes to the actor so the actor i mean the good actor adds so much Yeah, yeah. yeah for everything surrender yourself what do you like what do you love then you you be that that's what i believe and katrina you were you ever surprised by any role that came your way um i mean i i consider myself 
fortunate for every role that comes my way. That's that's a good that's a, a good role and a good film and a good director. So I, I think um, I think Vijay gave an absolutely brilliant answer. That's that's really what it is. Like every shot is an uncertainty, and um, and especially more so for me because I'm naturally a person that overthinks everything. So I'm constantly checking and you know analyzing the situation from every way, then analyzing what I've done, trying to better it, and never happy with myself, never satisfied with what I've done. Again, the hardworking bit. So it's 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 always um it's it's tiresome, but um. I think I feel that I owe it I owe it to myself and I owe it to everyone. Like I owe it to everyone to, to just give everything that I can. That still may not be as good as somebody else, but it's everything that I have to give and it's it's as good, you know, like it's giving your 1000% every day. Shyam sir, uh, I was reading a lot of your interviews um uh, where you said that you want to work with Shahrukh Khan someday, but it will be Shahrukh Khan the actor and not Shahrukh Khan the star. could you elaborate on that aspect as to how do you view star and actor differently i don't know what i meant by that what i meant is probably a, a good uh, a role meaty role something is not done before kind of thing it is very difficult to think of something for a certain kind of a star you know for me especially it's like because like i said i tend to then do something which they've already done or i've liked them and So yeah, I did meet him once, and we did discuss some ideas, but nothing yet, which is something which we both like. But so, is there a dream actor you want to direct? Like they had a dream director, which was you. So you have a dream actor. No, no there are many actors I'd like to work with, and so I don't want to name one and two yeah. kind of thing, you know. Yeah, but no, you, you worked with <laughs> you worked with two. dream actors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, but actually, when when this casting happened. I was too thrilled with myself for this casting. I don't know why. I said okay. <laughs> Even I was too. Yeah. Sir, <laughs> you're a big time action buff. Did you ever discuss the idea of making an action film with Shriram sir? No, I think that that conversation or those conversations are um, are are already existing in my life in 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 you know the different films I've done and the Tiger franchise. So I think I'm I'm there's a lot there already that I'm so connected to. So I think. Yeah, the opportunity we, yeah. to come, like he said, into cinema, which is something I've not done before. That's, I think, the experience that we were looking for together. Yeah, yeah, and that's really what I really wanted. I mean, I didn't want to do with her what she's already done before, and you know, I'm using her as a star kind of thing. You know, so I don't think Shriram sir would have really enjoyed being on set during that towel fight sequence in Tiger. <laughs> so <laughs> I think he's this is this is the world where he he um, fl- flourishes. He thrives. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> When I inter interviewed you during Tiger, you said that you would love to see Shri Ram sir direct a dark comedy. I think a lot of actors have said that about you that you have a great sense of humor. But I feel like he had he has directed a yeah, dark I mean, comedy. Yeah, Andadun was one. Andadun yeah. was one. Even half this yeah. film has also got some dark comedy elements. Andadun is yeah. actually a, a, dark, a comedy. dark comedy. Yeah. 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 Andadun is actually a yeah. It's a it is a it is a comedy. Yeah. It's not a scary movie at all. Which is a at Mami. You said that uh, over the last few years, a lot of directors are coming to you with negative roles, and at some point of time, you want to stop doing the negative characters. Does that take a lot of toll on you, where you are playing, say, a guy like Kali and Jawan, or playing a Vikram Veda, a Vikram Veda kind of film, or a Vikram? What what what's your psyche like when lot of negative characters are coming your way? Can I do mansplaining and answer for you? Because I've seen those films and I'm such a fan of those films. See, for every Kali that he's done, he's also done the '96 and Super Deluxe. So I mean, I think it's just the fearlessness, right? And I will stop answering for him. No, I have to answer. Okay. My my mind is very slow. I don't believe the word of think out of the box. I don't believe the word of think out of the box. for me there is no box at all yeah. just think freedomly so suddenly when uh, when uh, lokesh approached me for master let's give it a try uh, because uh, i i thought playing villain is uh, so much freedom no? you kill people and then you, you torture people and then you have a fun in it which you can't do it in real life and then uh, yeah of course inside everybody there is a big criminal is there we control them uh, so 
which is which i want to try and then same way why villain should be a angry face always why villain doesn't have a comedy in his life why villain doesn't have fun in his life so i want to have all those things and perspective so i thought we'll give it a try and then for so many years the brain is thinking in one way it's like you know there is pattern is formed already you are a hero and you are a good guy you are a good gentleman that is what they are in the mind so whatever comes and uh, uh, how to impress a girl how to impress an audience this, this is what happening and it's like uh, there is a saying in there in our language the vandi madam vasayana which says uh, Uh, farming land and your home and every day we go in the bullock cart now if you do sit or don't sit you just touch it and it automatically go and reach the home and it don't want to come back to the farming because every day it's going there yeah. the brain become like that i don't know come to i don't know how to come out of it so i want to try that so i did it and slowly what happened uh, uh, they started coming to me and approaching me for the regular kind of villain things keep keep coming and then already i don't have time to listen for the story which i'm playing as a hero yeah. now i have to sit and listen a story for villain villain roles and hero roles and guest appearances so i for, and it become emotional block notes because i meet everybody for me meeting i like meeting people and then uh, i don't read much books so i i learn from the uh, interacting with people and then listening stories and then it is i like it yeah. then so slowly i couldn't handle it and then uh, i'm little confused Uh, somewhere i can't tell everything openly yeah. okay it is not good so uh, so on so then i decided okay let's not do it for some time let's stop it for some time i need some relax for it so otherwise there is too many approaches are coming and then uh, now in now that there is a term no pan india term so udasi ek aadmi ko bula isko bula isko bula to aisa ho jata hai to usme so because of that also some films coming like that to so it's like okay uh, the call this guy from uh, tamil this jay sethpati so he'll do this for, so somebody from telugu somebody from uh, marathi somebody from bengali so you call so it is like sometimes some films it's like that only yeah. so because you don't you you see very less things that we face so much we face so much okay so i i don't know what to say all for this so I suddenly okay let's step back and then sit relax then later we'll decide if something will something if you really feel like then we'll start of this don't want don't want that's why that's the reason nothing else and before we move on to the fan question i think a lot of people would want to ask this to shri ram sir so when can we see you making a sequel to andhadun or badlapur everyone wants to see it i am sure there must be pressure on you from the producers as well so there is no pressure luckily but uh, andhadun like i said earlier i mean if i get too broke I'll do it. Otherwise, I, if I get a great story, I'll do it. Otherwise, uh, it's a nice film. It's, it, the film has a line, you know. Some things are best left incomplete. So I think one should believe in that line and let it be, because to try and make something more again with that might even ruin the end of the first film, you know. So unless I really get a cracking story, I'll not even try. And Badlapur, Badlapur doesn't need a. I mean, it's it's a it's over. The story is over actually. So. and there's no need to make a sequel to that one can do another film about rage or about revenge if one has an interesting take on that which can be called badlapur to which is what they all do i mean it doesn't have to be the same story or the same characters so that yeah i mean i would love to do something with varun and uh, nawaz also and uh, but it's a different story entirely but i don't have anything as yet you can add vijay sethi also for that yes, yes. i love badlapur <laughs> I love the story Badlapur it's, it's 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 fantastic it's fantastic especially in the climax of Nawaz sir he put a glass no mass it was nice <laughs> and lastly uh, who are the directors shriram sir was one of the directors on your bucket list who is the directors who you want to work with jo aayega no bahut hai it's it's like so much ha ha ji sab sir agar main bole to philosophy ho jata hai isliye control karta hu see your experience is like a torch light in your hand okay the place is dark so you see only very short distance so so, so people are there filmmakers there they will come and exit you so the door is open and then i am also open so 
if anybody come and impress me so uh, i don't believe in that concept of uh, running behind some uh, uh, so it is see i like his film i want to work with him okay i like to kumar raja i want to work with him same way there are few directors there but not only them there are n- i expect that a lot of new filmmakers will come i want to work with the new minds also it is not ab samajh gaya na ha ha sab katrina um firstly i'd want to keep working with all the directors i've already worked with because they're all such phenomenal directors and then that would also mean that they liked working with me so that would um give me immense joy and uh and then i think exactly as vijay said that it's just as as you take the experience as it comes you take that interaction as it comes so you a director comes to meet you you meet them with a completely open mind and if you guys connect on the story or you connect on a certain level then that's when you go on that journey together <laughs> thank you so much it was so good to have you all here such an amazing conversation with you all thank you for making it possible Thank and you for having us and thank you for everyone for taking out your time on a working Thursday to come here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.